Hello everyone, it's Vivi and I am back after I think a week and a half or so, something like that. Anywho, we got some crash nitro fueled footage out of the blue. I was playing Kingdom Hearts 3 and basically guys, that game broke me. I'm not even kidding. And bam, a bunch of gameplay comes from left and right. Many news uh, gaming outlets uh, shared uh, a gameplay, basically demos. Some places people got some demos of three tracks. Polar Pass, Crash Cove, and Dingo Canyon. And guys, as I always say in my Spyro and Crash related videos, it looks beautiful. Yay, predictable VV. We all know you're gonna say beautiful. Okay, you got a point. And of course, there are some major noticeable differences. Let's uh, go over them. The skyboxes for sure, for example, went from more grayish to a more sky blue, with some hints of pink from the original. Crash Cove still got some blue, but a lot more orange yellow this time around. Dingle Canyon, a brighter yellow with still that nostalgic purple hue in the sky. Overall, all skyboxes we've seen so far, they're just brighter. Now the whole lighting itself. Going back to the trailer, the first one, Papu Pyramid for example, you can tell it's much brighter than it its original form. Comparing Binox's take on the skyboxes, comparing them to Toys for Bob and Spyro, not to sound off-putting, but Binox retained the mixed colors of the skyboxes from the get-go. Although brighter, of course. Toys for Bob had to go through fan feedback. From what I recall from my videos, comparison analyses and all that, that's what I remember. A lot of people were worried, oh why is the sky this color, purple's missing and all that. Now I'm not saying CTR won't have any feedback, of course. There's probably a bunch of uh, articles, threads on Reddit, you know, the usual. As for the HUD and all that, they made them smaller for sure. They even went to lengths to change the shape of each box, as well as the position of the numbers. We went from right to left. The facial expressions have changed in the HUD as well, but they're going with 3D models. I saw a fan edit somewhere, Twitter, you you probably find it on Reddit as well if I'm not mistaken. 2D looks much better. I mean, this is just an opinion, okay? I mean, look at Aku's 2D model on top. Which one do you prefer? Doesn't 2D look better? But as I said, it's just an opinion. The box even becomes blue. The box is on the left, the positions and all that, showing your character, which is pretty cool. When being hit, however, these gameplays lack the players turning red upon impact. Whether it's a, a TNT crate on your head, a missile, a nitro crate, a bowling bomb is what we call it. Bowling bomb? Anyways, you get it. You also turn green when hit with a green sphere. But looking at these demos, uh, it's absent. I wouldn't be upset about this because, guys, it's still early footage. They're gonna listen, they're gonna change a few things. As for the players on the map, we have their faces now. This is something I had a feeling they would do. I believe it's much better this way. As for the sound effects, uh, when picking up crates, the sound of the roulette is much quieter. As for the sound of the crates, it's similar to NST, short for Ancient Trilogy, don't forget. Maybe some still prefer the sound of the original, but I'm not too bothered by the sound effect of the boxes. Now the cart's engine is also weaker. I'm probably nitpicking, okay? But where is that feel of the engine? As for the flames, they also look uh, smaller, I guess? But I mean, we're comparing flames on PS4 to flames, you know, polygons on PS1. <laughs> Aku Aku's theme has been changed, if I'm not mistaken. Instead, they went with his, let's just call it, his original theme. As for Uka Uka, they're playing the same one from CTR, but of course remastered. The same applies for all the music in the game. This was confirmed that yes, all the soundtrack in the game will get remastered. As for the voice of Aku, I'm not sure if it's the same as Insane, but thinking about it furthermore, it actually sounds like his voice when facing Uka Uka in Warped. I believe they took, well, copy-pasted that segment of his voice, and you know went with that.
Hold up, let me go back to what I said about Aku Aku's theme, it could also just be a placeholder, don't forget. Now before entering the race, the intro of the track now is showcased. Kinda gives me Diddy Kong Racing vibes. And you have the option to, well, I mean, you always had the option to skip, but you know, the words are there. This might sound funny. <laughs> At first I thought these blue texts were for trailer purposes? No, the blue themed banner is part of the Nitro Fueled. And talking about blue, here's the lobby menu. There's the flag in the background, however, they went with blue. White and black, do you believe it would've looked nicer? It would've been also cool if it was moving. As for the load times, unfortunately, I knew this was coming. It got to, you know, longer. We went from 10, 15 seconds to 25. And Saint Trilogy originally suffered from long load times. With the patches and all that, they eventually got improved. So we'll see what happens with this one with time. And of course we have a hints section, predictable. Oh, let's not forget the character selection menu, you can now rotate to these characters manually. They also have added expressions and attitude even during this screen. Now some uh, characters are missing tails, why is that? Was it difficult to render? Was it glitchy? What's going on? And where is the option to switch vehicles? If I go back to the trailer, we had Crash or switching vehicles. We didn't have HUD menu or anything like that, but just, you know, transitioning from one vehicle to the other. Where's the option? Next, I also love the characters, how they feel more lively on the carts. How the carts especially bounce left and right, or vibrate. You even have the characters say something after the race ends. I really love Crash's gibberish. <laughs> And of course, we can't ignore the great amount of detail brought to these tracks. Polar bears, monkeys, you name it. It looks beautiful. Now when I originally saw this part of Polar Pass on Twitter, I thought, okay, uh, they got rid of the polar bear, but no. This is simply a different section, the part that comes after the frozen polar bear. Power sliding. I'm not too sure looking at this footage. I can't really tell, but I can say this. People who played the demo, from what I've been reading so far, articles and all that, they are saying the feel of the original is still there. They even went to a point of mentioning muscle memory. It's there, so that's absolutely fantastic to hear. What I believe people are fearing right now is, you know, the reserve system, or call it sacred fire. I did make like a short, pretty generalized video about this hidden technique. If you want to check it out, go ahead. Last thing for the video, a quote from Binox. Everything in Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled has been recreated from scratch. Stefan Gravel, production director on the game at Binox tells Variety. All the assets are brand new, the characters were built from the ground up. The same for the tracks and the remastered soundtrack. We even re-recorded every voiceover. See, the thing I said before they copy-pasted Aku's voice? Just reading this, I could be wrong, so... Anyways, I think it's more of a recreation than a remaster. A remaking. I love the fact Binox is going with the word remaster. Remake, because remaster and remake always get to interchanged. This to me is a remake, it's not a remaster. I always take a remaster as an HD port. If you're not convinced, then uh, I guess so be it. As for a PC port, well, Binox said, uh, you know, the usual stuff. No word on it, he said, well, Binox said. It depends of how many people play the game, implying, you know, it depends on the sales. So for now, this game is planned for PS4, Xbox, and uh, Switch getting released on June 21st, 2019. So with that being said, guys, this is it for the video. If I didn't miss anything interesting, please mention it in the comment section below. And as always, I've been Vivi, and thank you so much for watching.